What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Eternal Winter, where actually I'm trying to save my dog right now. I'm not sure what happened, but my dogs appear to not be accepting like food. Uh, I'm not so sure, so I'm going to shoot this thing over here. Hold on. Alright, so we shot ourselves a pig. I wanted to show off the crossbow in this episode too. I have used it before, I just forgot where you can loot it from. I know that I picked it up in my previous playthrough, I just wasn't sure. So maybe you can only feed them raw meat right now. Let's try that. Let's try the raw meat. And if this doesn't work, then unfortunately we're going to have to wait for some patches or something because that's kind of like a baseline thing that we need to be able to do. Doggy, would you like raw meat? Okay, so the raw meat works. So let's get the two front dogs in line. These two... Is that dog dropping a duke right now? Is that seriously what just happened? I mean, the animation... It, I've... I've owned dogs, and that's kind of lo what it looks like when they pop a squat. I'm not trying to hate right now, but that would be a hilarious feature is if your dogs have to stop the sled to drop a duke every now and again. It would, it would, I'm not going to say it would please me, but it would still be kind of funny, at least the first three or four times, until you're actually trying to do something important, like save your dogs from dying of starvation. So it looks like they can only eat the raw meat, even though on the menu it says that they can eat cooked meat. So I guess I got faked out a little bit. I don't know if it says that on the, let's look. Let's see here. Only your dogs can eat raw meat if you want to eat it. So I guess it's sort of implied in the rule set down there. But then there's a button that says feed the dog cooked meat. So maybe it's just not implemented yet. At least we can feed them something. That's all that I care about. At least we were able to like throw something down the gullet. So the two in the back are a little bit weaker right now. But I think in these dire times we should be able to bring this one home and make it work. I hope. What is that? Like a roving shadow circling cubes in the sky trying to destroy us watch out there's hostile cubes ah! take cover get in the trenches I doubt that it's that dire but I'd like to find another animal if we can and eat it I think this is like the edge of the map right here it looks like there's an ocean of some sort huh okay learning new things then it appears as though we've got seaside property or at the bare minimum lakeside property I don't know what to think about this. Oh, there's boats out there. Can we go on out on the jet skis? Oh, man, we're going out on a jet ski. This is going to be the best. I rented a jet ski one time, and it is the coolest invention that has ever been created by man. That's why when people... Oh, my God. If you... You should ride a jet ski. That's all I'm going to say about that. Like, I, I don't have one, but I rented one one time, and it was, quite frankly, the shit. So... All right. Sorry, Wolfie. Your time has come, Wolf. Step forward and do battle. Do battle with a man about nature and survival. And Gene Steelers. Oh, he see me. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, God. Okay, I was going to say, it's getting... I, I was going to be like, save me, doggies! And they're like, nah, you made us run up that hill yesterday. We're good. We're actually, we're going to see if we can join his pack afterwards. He's kind of like the manliest wolf that we've ever seen. So we're going to go hang out with him because we feel like our prospects are probably better with him. And I'd be like, so much for loyalty. Pingle, are you behind this? I know you're behind this, Pingle. Don't try and blame your shenanigans and your conspiracies on Dribblechin. He's too stupid to come up with it. There's no way. He's just not smart enough. Dribblechin's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that come from? Why did this become about me? I wasn't even involved. And then your shots fired, man. Shots fired. Be aware, it does look like they drop a duke after they get done eating. Dogs do have automotive bowels. What that means is that they push things out. Like as soon as something else goes in. I mean, technically human beings do it too. Actually, I think automotive bowels are like with birds where they can't control it. Or like an automatic bowel or something like that. Automotive bowel. Sounds like they've got like colons made out of cogs and steamworks and things. We only have... Really? I feel like we have more arrows than this. You can't recover the arrows, by the way. I'll just, I'll throw that out there as just kind of like a, you can't do this. So if you were going to leave me a comment like, why didn't you go get your arrow back? You can't. Well, they are one time, one use. Now, this becomes kind of a problem for us. Sort of analyzing, did I say analyzing? That's weird. Analyzing the situations. M sounds and N sounds. M sounds and N sounds. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. There we go. Now that my voice is working again, my god, what happens in the middle of these episodes sometimes? I need to warm up better or something. I mean, if I'm not warmed up by now, I've had like a nine-hour recording session. Ooh, hello, medkit. Yes, please. They're actually, that's a gift package from the Red Cross, but you know what? It's a medkit, whatever. Think of, just think of it whatever you will. 
Let's go back over here and see if any of these boats are boardable. <laughs> Those boats, though. I mean, I guess it goes along with the single tone of everything else. I think everything in this, if I fall in the water and die, I'm going to be so upset with you boat. So please have a clipping plane involved in your existence. I'm going to walk down the dock and see, oh, there's something over there. What is that? A loaf of bread? Just like hanging out in a boat. Okay. Maybe it's a bakery boat. What do I know about anything? I'm like the village idiot. That's people come like people show up to watch my shenanigans. I tell people this all the time. They're like, we want your opinion on this in gaming. And I will be like, I am a league. I, I'm a professional buffoon guys. I'm a professional buffoon. I, why you want my opinion about anything? I'm not really sure. I don't trust my opinion about anything. So frankly, that doesn't speak too well as to whether you should respect my opinion about anything. I'm just throwing it out there right now. Sometimes I will express an opinion and then right after that, I'll be like, no, that can't be right. And I'll have to go back and like reanalyze it. And so if I second guess myself like that, you should at least triple check me, maybe. That's why I always try and leave myself a disclaimer, like something on the back end where I can be like, you know, don't take my word for it. Like a little reading rainbow type thing that I can do at the end. I don't think you can ever get bad advice from LeVar Burton. I mean... I don't see anything out this way. I'm gonna follow the water line though because I find that an attractive prospect because that gives me a constant frame of reference for where we need to go. Additionally, did I skin that other... Did I feed everybody? Hold on. Is everybody fed? Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're pretty good. Yeah, everybody's looking fine. Pingle, dingle. Dribble Chin and Nickel Nabber all look like they are ready to roll and so I'm ready to slide anyways. So ready to slide shall we be. Let's be on our way. Let's hustle on out and see what we can accomplish here. Hmm. Well, I mean, the lakeside does not appear to be the sort of place where... I mean, knowing what I know about human society, if there's a lake, we like to build property next to it. But it looks like people here are not afflicted by that particular addiction. Oh, we might be on an island. That's a pretty... Either that or a very large peninsula. One or the other. Not sure which, but... Thus far, it actually looks like we are surrounded by water. So we might be on some sort of... I, I loathe to call it kind of like a frosty desert isle, but... That might be the case. That might just be the case, given what I'm viewing right now. Either way, let's continue. We'll continue working our way merrily around the edge of the island. Still not seeing anything useful. We did find a road, so that's a plus. Roads are typically fairly useful. I would use them pretty heavily. What is that over there? Another animal. Let's go murder it. I've got to make sure that my dogs have a good meat supply, given that I've given, like, every piece of meat I've picked up so far over to my grill, which then I have claimed... Ah, uh, it turned me around again. Yeah, stop that. Okay, so here we go. Steady myself on a tree. Ah. Uh, all right, we got this. We got this. There it is. All right, let's go get ourselves some piggy meat. I guess we'll cut it off the snoot. I would take the meat from just about everywhere. I don't eat pig hooves, though. Can't do that. Pig hooves are kind of gnarly. Pig ears, too. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I wasn't raised on them. I know some people that'll eat, like, pig's hooves and pig's ears and things like that, but eh. My family never had that sort of thing. Then again, I think that might be largely due to the fact that my old man grew up eating all kinds of weird foods because he grew up in, like, South Carolina, like, in the middle of... Well, he lived in ATL for a while. And then he also lived in South Carolina, and he tells stories about foods that used to be cooked. Like, he still eats grits and things like that. I can't do it. I can't eat grits. Grits are a food of desperation. If I had to, I would, but if I have the choice, eh, I might walk away from grits. I realize people will not share my opinion about grits. I have found that people are actually quite fervent in their defense of grits, but nope. Anything that you can put down the sink and it will destroy the entire plumbing system... I don't, I, I would more than likely like to keep it out from inside of myself. If the plumbing system, which is made out of metal and like whirly blady things, can handle it, or I'm sorry, can't handle it, I'm willing to bet that my soft and squishy stomach and colon probably can't handle it either. They don't have blades. If they did, I would know about it by now. 
That seems like a digestion would get sort of noisy along the way. Well, we haven't really seen anything too interesting on this jaunt around the edge of the island. Is that a bear? What? No. Oh my god, it's a bear. Holy shit. This is a terrible plan. My first inclination was to be like, let's shoot it. No, let's not shoot it. Let's absolutely not shoot it. Instead, let's maybe... Oh, man. I'm actually thinking water might be the problem in this game since we can't melt snow yet. I bet that's what they're going to bring up next. And then you'll use the water bottles to simply store the water. But as of right now, you can only rehydrate off of water bottles. And unfortunately, we haven't picked up very many of them. And so I think we might have a rather short stay here, considering both the dogs and I need water. I hope that bear's aggro range is not large. You know what? Let's see. I bet I can kill him. Let's kill the bear. I've got a gun. It's got two bullets in it. I bet it. he's trapped behind a tree. How hard could this be? Hold on. My DPI is screwing me right now. This game has like a weird... I actually think he might be out of range. I think the bullet might stop after a while. Hmm. Oh well. I feel better with a full clip. Can the bear even be killed? Let's find out. Bear? He seems kind of tough to me. He's taking a few rounds. I mean, they're rounds to the hip, so maybe not quite fatal shots. He seems sort of impervious, no lie. Oh no! I'm not sure what to do about this bear. Put a lot of bullets in him, I guess. Wow, that took almost an entire clip. We need to go grab another magazine. We're out. On the plus side, maybe we'll be able to get a bunch of meat off of him. How much did that give me? Huh? Huh? Oh, that gave me like four meat. Okay, well, it wasn't really worth the bullets, though. If you extrapolate that out with the amount of bullets he took, he should give me like 20 meat. Oh, did I lose my dogs? Where are my dogs at? Is that them over there? Okay. Whew. I'd be like, I had one job to do in this game. All you had to do was take care of the dogs, and you couldn't even manage that. Sigh. All right. Well, I think we're... Oh, I'm overweight with meat right now. Hold on. Let me eat that weird white-colored meat, I suppose. What does a powdered milk package do? It doesn't say drink, so I'm assuming it doesn't restore my thirst at all. I'm afraid to use any more of my water bottles because i got to give them to the dogs at some point. We've only got one bullet left in our gun, which is slightly worrying. That bear, he took it. From what I understand, it's kind of hard to kill bears like that, though, because some bears, when you hunt them, their skulls are too thick for, like, a 44 round or a 45 round to go through. At least that's what I've been told, anyways. I don't know. When I was growing up, one of my dad's friends was like an avid hunter, and he shot a bear one time. He actually got one, and he had a, he sent it to Siberia to some like professional skinning guy to have it made into like this giant rug. It's a brown bear. It's pretty impressive on the wall. It's definitely an impressive trophy. The bear, he said the bear charged him. Whether or not that actually happened, I'm not sure, because I will point out that the bear keeps getting larger and larger and larger as years go by. The bear has slowly become this sort of gargantuan leviathan monstrosity that spawned out of the woods with like tentacles and now it's like shooting laser beams out of its eyes and stuff when he tells the story so it's possible that it may not have been charging him but he says that it charged him from out of the woods he said what he thinks happens is somebody else took a shot at it or something he said he didn't hear a gunshot but he said the bear was hauling ass he knows he said he doesn't know if it was hauling ass towards him or just like hauling ass away from whatever was behind it but that bear, he said it was definitely not hanging tight and trying to stick around and see what would happen. Unfortunately, it ran right into the area that he was aiming his rifle, and he was like, Hey, I picked up a bear tag this year. And so, he got himself a bear. Bear is not actually... It tastes okay. It tastes okay. If you ever have the opportunity, eh, expand your horizons a little bit. Have some bear. Enjoy. I mean, if it's already dead, you might as well use all the parts of it. That tends to be how I roll. Where are we right now? God, we are just in the middle of nowhere right now. 
I'm gonna laugh if we pull up right next to my house and be like, oh, well then, I guess we weren't out in the middle of nowhere, but it looks like there was something over here, so I'm gonna go investigate. Yeah, it looks like we got a couple of cabins over here. If I've been here before, this is gonna suck, but we could definitely use some more supplies. I'm thinking this might be the last episode I record, simply based on the fact that it seems like it's pretty quick to pick the map clean. Goose eggs. Goose eggs would be a good thing, though. I never understood. I guess it's because zeros look like goose eggs. That would be my best guess, but goose eggs seems like you had a positive find. I mean, I'm like, yay, dinner. I like eggs. Some people don't, but I like eggs. Eggs are pretty awesome, actually. Mix in some, like, onions and some pepper and... Whew, you have those things going. You have those things going for days. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Well, given the fact that there doesn't appear to be anything really pertinent over here, let's whip out the compass real fast. Yeah, that's kind of the feeling I had. I think we may have gone around, like, the entire rim of the island. I think that... I think we may have gone, like, all the way around because... If we hadn't, our house would be, like, over there somewhere. But since it's way back behind us, I think we actually made, like, a full trip around the outside of the circle. So, yeah, I'm going to equip the crossbow. It's definitely not going to kill any bears. That's for sure. It's absolutely not going to be any good for bear hunting. But for the other little stuff, it's better than wasting 50 bullets on another bear. That's for sure. Let's have a look around the outskirts here. I'll probably try and stay... With the pop-in the way that it is, the only thing that I can really say is that unfortunately you've got to kind of be close to the thing that you're looking for before you can see it. There's something up over that hill. I'm going to take it a little wide because I don't know what it was. It could have just been the top of a tree, but it wasn't looking so coniferous. It may have been something hostile. In which case, I think it must have been the top of a tree, just looking kind of funny. I see a cabin over there. What is this? It actually looks like the island swings out a little bit over here. Swing out, sweet island spot. Huh. Must be unfinished terrain or something. I'm going to stay away from it before something unexpected happens and, like, kills my entire dog team. And then I'll be like, no! I'll be really upset if any of my dogs die. I've become attached to Pingle Dingle, Dribble Chin, and also Nickel Nabber. Remember to vote. I don't know who's going to be president, but I really think that you guys should come up with who should be the president of the dog team. I feel like maybe... I don't know how their energy regenerates either, but let's check this boat down here. This isn't the same dock that we went to before. I don't know how their energy regenerates, but his energy is looking kind of low. And that's not so pleasant. But I think we've pretty much picked the map clean at this point. Most of the areas, I mean, I may have missed a lot. I don't know. Somebody may pop in and be like, oh my god, you're such a noob. There's so many areas. You can actually, there's a dragon off in the corner, and he's in a cave, and then you can click on him, and if you press the E button, he will fly up into the sky, and then you go to a new island, and I'll be like, I feel like you're probably trolling me right now. I, I am skeptical of your claim, sir. I am skeptical. Well... It's kind of bad because I sneezed on my screen, and so you see the little targeting dot, like right next to it, there's another dot that I apparently made with my inability to cover my mouth, and it's actually kind of weirding me out. Every time I'm like, why is that dot off center? And they're like, oh, that's not my Amy dot, that's just, that would be my spittle. You gotta clean the monitor every now and again. You gotta clean the monitor every now and again, otherwise it just kind of accumulates. It gets kind of nasty. Maybe we'll go back over... I don't know. Let's cut inland a little bit. We need to find some water or something, but if the dogs get tired, we run into a problem where if they get down to a quarter energy, if they get down to a quarter energy, we unfortunately will stop. Like, one of the dogs. That's all that it takes. If one dog gets down to a quarter energy, we're basically hosed. And so, maybe I should start steering them back in the direction of home and the possibility that we might allow them to rest for the night. 
I think this is the last episode I'm going to record for a little while until I get kind of a general public opinion about how you feel about the game. I realize there's a lot of dead time and just random traveling. Make sure I'm going in the right direction here again. Over there. Okay, so that's what I was slightly... I think we might be at the top of this hill over here. Whether or not his energy is going to hold out until we get there, I couldn't say at this point. His energy is really, really low, and I didn't notice it until way too late. So... This might get a little rowdy. Unfortunately, you can't, like, help them push the sled back or anything, or, you know, take, like, a two-hour break or anything, I don't think. I mean, I can look at the tips right here. Let's see. We got shift, F, yeah. It looks like there is indeed not any sort of way to... Yep, yep, yep. It looks like there's indeed not any way to actually restore the energy on your dogs aside from maybe sleeping and giving them a day off. Giving them a little doggy break. Where in the hell is our house? Hold on. I don't know. We're still on the right heading. Let's go, doggies. Forward! Mush! Mush is what this snow is sort of textured like. Alright, why is it called mush? Is that like an old Russian word or something for go? I don't know. I would assume that it would come from... Or is it like an old Inuit word or something? I'm not really positive where that word comes from, but I know people say mush when they're pushing their dogs along. They'll be like, mush, little doggies. Mush forwards. If we make it back to the house on our limited caloric allocation right now, I'm going to be incredibly pleased. I don't see anything in that house, and I'm pretty sure we've hit both these houses. Ooh, we actually got like a little bit of air right there. That's what they should do. They should implement kind of like a Tony Hawk mode where you can do like tricks off your sled. But like, oh, sled grind. I don't know how you get the dogs through on that situation though. Hmm. We have to teach the dogs to grind as well. That might become a problem. I don't think dogs are... Their feet don't seem conducive to grindable surfaces. You might have to, I don't know, like a modified snowshoe might work maybe? Yep, dogs are tired. We didn't make it. So... What do we do now? Well, I can give them water bottles, but I would prefer that they just kind of get energy back on their own. Hmm. Is this my cabin over here? I don't feel like this is my cabin. Yeah, I think we're still a ways off. Yeah, because there might be no way around it except to give the dog as much water as he wants. Technically, if you let them rest, I don't think you need to give them water. But if we're going to go through this much water on a daily basis, I definitely need a, I definitely think a mechanic needs to be implemented. It's probably being worked on already. It's fairly obvious, I think, that there needs to be a mechanic that allows you to get water from a replenishable source because just relying on the water you pick up so far, there you go, Pingle, enjoy. All right, so we have fed the dog some water. Mush! Back home, little doggies. I may start a fresh run after this, maybe. Or I, I honestly think that's about all we can show off about this game at the moment. There's not a ton of other random things, like, popping out at me that I can show off. I think that we've pretty much hit most of the houses. I don't see a whole lot of stuff left, that's for sure. Oh, wait, nope. As I say that, of course. Welcome to my life as a YouTuber. Welcome. Welcome to my life as a YouTuber. The second I say that, 150 things to loot are going to show up. I guess I'll check this house, too. Anything? No. Alright. Well, I'm hoping they add actual geographical locations and stuff in this game where there's like a airfield. You know, like some of those like random things that pop in into every survival game. Dams. Airfields. Medical stations. Things of that nature. Yeah, I think we're pretty good right now. I think we're pretty good. You may actually be kind of in an area that I don't know about, so I may save my game and then peter around a little bit and kind of take a head count of what I can find. And I know I'm not keeping the proper heading right now. We've got tons of energy, so we might as well let them run. But there's no more water. I mean, I can't find anything anyways. We could check this little place over here, but this might be... Actually, I don't think I've been out here. This doesn't look familiar. We got a Jesus house. Like a bell tower where the bell has apparently fallen down quite far. It's no longer upraised, that's for sure. Alright, let's go in here. Aha! Water bottle. Just what we needed. Plenty of meat, plenty of everything else, but water bottles, unfortunately, we do not have a plenty of. Oh, there's our house. Alright, well, I'm going to loot this place first, and then we'll break off the episode. I'll go back to the house. 
I'll save, and then after I air these episodes, we'll decide if we want to do one or two more. I said I was going to set a cap on this one at like five episodes, because I really sincerely don't think we can actually get that much more out of it. Oh, look. Okay, so we've got med kits. I mean, I haven't really been wounded by anything yet. My dog got wounded by a boar, but that was about it. I can't go out that way. It looks like it would be... Okay, whatever. I'll go out through this hole over here. I suppose I will do what the game desires for me to do. Oh, look, there's gravestones. That's sort of depressing. Hmm. I don't have a hat or I'd tip it. What is this right here? Looks kind of like the Reddit alien. Definitely. It's got kind of like a Reddit alien look to it. All right. Well, I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to save my game. I think that this has been a pretty fun playthrough. Let me know if you want to see like one or two more episodes. I think that one more is about all I could squeeze. I definitely think that this side of the island is the one that I have not quite gotten to yet. There appears to be a bridge or something over there. And also something back into the left over there. So maybe following the power lines might be a decent plan too, although unreliable, I think. Well, they kind of look connected. Either way, I'll see you all in the next episode if there is one. If not, I hope you enjoyed Eternal Winter. I hope you decide to support its development. I think this game has a lot of chances in front of it to really become kind of a very interesting survival game. And so I will see you all in whatever we do next. Hi do, everybody.